We're back. I'm Greg from RVH Lifestyles, and here is the Volvo Brainiac, Jonathan Nosbush. Are you tired of us yet? We've been talking about how to perfectly configure a brand new Volvo from the factory, tailored to pulling our light RV uh, coach fifth wheel, recreational vehicle fifth wheels. And this video is all dedicated about the world of transmissions. One of the reasons that people also look to these Volvos is be primarily because of that much coveted transmission called the iShift. Jonathan, tell us what this is. Well, a lot of customers are used to seeing an 18-speed or a 13-speed manual, and that's the one where you constantly see the guy in there shifting gears, and I think that's actually what scares a lot of people <laughs> away from using a commercial truck in an RV pulling application. What we have is a proprietary transmission designed by Volvo. It's been over in Europe for a long time, and it's designed to work with our engine specifically, and it's called it, an iShift. It came here in 2008. So 2008. even, even yeah. here in North America, in the United States and Canada, not new. Nope. No, it's been out for a while, and it's got a lot of proven tested miles behind it. Um, it differs from a regular automatic transmission. A regular automatic transmission, like in your pickup truck, has a torque converter, runs off of hydraulics, and you get a lot of losses through the hydraulic system, as well, there's a higher maintenance cost, a higher repair cost to it. We use what's called an automated manual transmission. So if you were to open it up, it would actually look like a manual transmission inside. We've used the air pressure of the truck to actually switch the gears as the computer calls for it. And it also applies a 17 inch Saks organic clutch open and close. Now there is no clutch pedal. You don't know this is going on and you think you're driving a regular automatic. But this is important because you get the proven reliability of a manual transmission. You get the 12 gears to give you optimal power and optimal fuel economy mm -hmm. at any speed. Um, but it's automated. And you just put it in D for drive or you can even put it down into M for manual and use your thumb or your finger to switch gears yourself. But it, it gives you that automatic feel. And it mm -hmm. takes a lot of the work out of driving the truck. Okay, there's some features that we want to make sure people yes. know about on these transmissions and that they include. Can you tell us about those? So there's different programming you can get in the truck. Comprehensive shift patterns, comprehensive shift patterns, gentle shift patterns. Just like the engine we talked about where the hardware is all the same, there's a lot of software we can do to tailor the truck mm -hmm. to what they're using. And I recommend the gentle shift program. Okay. It was originally designed for guys hauling fluids or hauling cattle, live animals, where they didn't want the shifty jerk of every shift. This gentle shift smooths out the shifts, and for okay. our RV haulers, it just makes it a very smooth, comfortable ride. As well, new for 2017, so the 2018 model year, we offer a feature called IC. And what it does is it remembers every trip you've ever made. It remembers every hill you've climbed, where you had to stop, where you had to slow down on the other side of the hill, and it, it takes into account that the next time you go. So say, for example, you've driven through the Rocky Mountains once before, and now you're driving from Calgary, and you come to your first hill. It remembers to grab a gear before you get to the hill and it'll run the hill up and it'll know exactly when to shift or it'll know, hey, I can hold the gear and run this out a little bit longer because I'm almost at the top of the hill. Then it'll clutch itself, let it coast over the top of the hill and if it's got a hill on the other side, it'll already have the engine brake turned on and slowing you down for the other side of the hill. Hmm. So it can turn you into basically a professional driver who's made that run a hundred times. It knows what to do. It's pretty cool technology. That's really cool. Yeah. How about some of the other features? Uh, keep, well, keep going. Well, there's eco roll. So if you were driving a manual transmission and you were coming up a hill and you got to the other side, you'd put your clutch in and just let you close down. No, you're not supposed to do that. Well, that's not in roll. commercial. Not, not in, in commercial, commercial, but in your pickup truck. Okay, in your pickup truck. All right. But the Volvo, the truck knows what it's doing, so it'll actually put the clutch in and let you coast down that hill as well until you've either picked up too much speed, where it'll engage the engine brake, mm -hmm. or you need power to continue moving, where it'll engage again and provide power to keep going. So that will save you a lot of fuel just coasting down that hill, and again, it's all controlled by the cruise control. Now, the, the eco torque and this, uh, the cruise control tie-in, this is a topic that I, I can spend hours explaining to you. It is a very complicated, mm -hmm. actually easy to use system. It's amazing what this thing will do in the A position. Well, it requires the, very little it, and driver it, it, input. It's, it's automatic. There's an A position called automatic. You leave, literally put a lever to the A position mm -hmm. and it does this stuff for you. You can pick some tolerances. Jonathan yeah. talked about that kind of runaway or mm -hmm. how much you'll accelerate in neutral down the hill before it engages the brake. You can choose yeah. how fast that is. 
It works really well. I just finished delivering an RV hauler down to Portland with uh, we road trip. My customer flew to my location and we delivered his RV hauler through the Rocky Mountains in the winter time because you always want to drive. Uh, <laughs> poor planning, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> but it, there's no better way than to experience this. Put it in this A position, and my customer was flabbergasted about how it just kept us inside of a safe zone and what it did. Well, and one other feature we should discuss is hill start assist. How many times have you been at an intersection where there's a slight hill mm -hmm. and you'll see the commercial truck actually start rolling back towards you? And that's, that's a scary thought because that's a lot of weight coming at you. Yeah. We offer a product called hill start assist and all that does is it applies the brakes for a few extra seconds until you've taken your foot off the brake pedal and applied it to the accelerator. So that way you don't get that rolling back and even on the steepest hills, it'll hold you there and then you can start moving again. So mm -hmm. it's just one extra way to keep that family safe now but when you engage with Jonathan or when you talk to me there are pluses and minuses yes. to many of these options yeah. and I'm, I'm, do you mind if I bring that up go for it I, I want to talk about the hill start and there are certain situations in which this can be a bother um, yes one of those scenarios is say you're in stop and go traffic mm -hmm. you've, you've got we're in Chicago and I've driven through there delivering one through to Philadelphia before and it's stop and go and it, it's like on and off, and it takes like a, a fraction of a second. For it has it to, to kind release of turn the brakes off. all through the truck yeah. with air. So it does take a little while for those brakes to come off. Now, thankfully, there is a switch. You can temporarily yeah. disable Hill Start Assist to go through situations like that. But like many parts of building this truck, unlike going on Ford's website and spending five minutes building a truck, this is several hours. And there's mm -hmm. a lot of features that may counteract with one another, might make another not even available. You've got to weigh each one of these options and go over the positives and negatives. And that's where an experienced salesperson will really help you because they can explain from themselves driving truck, from hundreds of customers' feedback, what they found the real life is. Because unfortunately, sometimes on paper, something sounds really good. And in real life, you find out it just doesn't work quite the way you want. Now, one little bit of information I haven't shared with you folks watching this yet is actually Jonathan's background is in the RV industry. So Jonathan started his career um, putting together these systems for customers and sometimes having them show up with too little a pickup truck to pull the trailer. Yeah, that unfortunately, that happened an awful lot. So the advantage you have when you're engaging with Jonathan or myself is we're not setting these trucks up to be commercial trucks. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to ask the right questions or have someone like Jonathan ask the questions of you about how are you going to drive, where are you going to go, who's with you, how fast do you go. We talked about those things. So again, I, in an earlier video, I showed you a stack of, I still forget how many pages it is, 80 pages? 78. 78 pages of, of detailed minutiae that you have to go through to design one of these. Mm -hmm. Now, we were on the topic of transmissions. Anything else we want to talk about here? You know what, I think we covered it. The only other thing I'd like to add is there are multiple places for you to mount oh, right. your shifter and your transmission. Most of my commercial drivers appreciate a shifter mounted to the side of the seat so they can use their thumb to quickly shift and do different adjustments. We found for the RV market though, a dash mounted shifter mm -hmm. is actually a better option. Um, it's just more convenient, it's out of the way, and it requires such little driver input that you just press D for drive, R for reverse, and it's very simple and it keeps it easy to drive and it's out of the way. Um, it also gives you access to the EP button, which stands for efficiency or performance. So the truck will always default to the efficiency, which means it'll skip gears because you don't always need all 12 gears, especially pulling your RV to get going. So it'll actually skip mm -hmm. gears, it'll drive for fuel efficiency. But we do have a P button for performance. So when you're in the mountains or when you're in a situation where you've got rolling hills, you put in performance and it'll bring the engine up to higher RPMs. It'll use every gear. It'll give you more performance when you need it. Now you do sacrifice some fuel economy to do that, okay. but in rolling hills, that's a nice feature to have. All right. And again, there's some pluses and minuses, mm -hmm. uh, even about that positioning. And I think if you have questions about those things, please contact us. Yeah. And we can share with you some of those advantages and disadvantages. What's our next video? Our next video, I believe, is axles. Oh, and brakes. Yes. And wheels. The brakes are important. Here it comes.